We're back on Sports Overtime and joined now by Bruce Martin. Bruce, thanks for getting dressed up, but props to you. Last night on these airwaves, you said it was a two-man race, Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick. That's what we saw. Denny bails out. It's all Harvick back-to-back. -back. And I'm telling you what, it was a real heartbreaker for Denny Hamlin. He's within seven laps of winning his first Brickyard 400. Would have joined Jamie McMurray as the only drivers to win the Daytona 500 and the Brickyard in the same year. Jamie did that back in 2010. Once again, today, there was trouble with the right front. So several cars had right front tires blow up, hit the wall. It happened with Denny Hamlin after he got cleared and released from the medical center. He said it was kind of like playing roulette a little bit with that right front tire. It wasn't a matter of if it was going to blow up. It was a matter of when. And for him, it came seven laps from a victory. Would have been fun to see a late restart with Hamlin and Harvick trying to battle it out as it was. It was Harvick got a little help from his younger teammate and pushed him out front, and he was there to stay. Cole Custer did a really good job. He finished fifth, throw in Eric Almarola's third place finish. Team owner Tony Stewart gets three cars in the top five at the Brickyard 400 at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, including the winner for the second year in a row. Kevin Harvick's having a fantastic season, and since this NASCAR resumed on May 17th, it's been the Hamlin and Harvick show. Today, it was Kevin Harvick. Denny Hamlin has done so many great things, still can't get a 400 win, still hasn't won a championship. Are we going to see this kind of a two-man race, you think, the rest of the season, or can somebody emerge and maybe make a run for the championship? Well, there's still some, we still haven't heard much from Kyle Busch this season, and a lot of that is because he's a driver that needs to have practice in order to get his car to the way he likes it during races. Without the practice sessions and without qualifications, it's really made this year's NASCAR season really interesting because you don't really know sometimes who's going to have a really good car right off the truck. Although, we do know it's going to be Kevin Harvick and Denny Hamlin. An exciting weekend of racing and historic weekend. What would you think about this kind of setup with fans in the house? Would that be a real boom for the Speedway and for the uh, ticket gate? I think it would be a boom for the Speedway, the ticket gate, NASCAR, and IndyCar. The fact that you have Three different series running on two different layouts, I think is perfect. I think the Brickyard 400 should always be on the oval. The Xfinity race was fantastic on the road course. And of course it gives IndyCar a chance to get a little added exposure by competing the same weekend as NASCAR. He's Bruce Martin, it's casual Sunday. That's why he's not wearing one of his fine suits, but always great to see you here, Bruce. Right now, let's hit a break. Back with more right after this.